Um, anyways, the, 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 the problem with that, you see, is that because all the evil isn't divided so easily up into oppressor and oppressed, that when you do establish a dictator of the proletariat to the degree that you can do that, which you actually can't because it's technically impossible and an absurd thing to consider to begin with, not least because of the problem of centralization, I mean, you have to hypothesize that you can take away all the property of the capitalists, you can replace the capitalist class with a minority of pro proletariats, how they're going to be chosen isn't exactly clear in the Communist Manifesto, that none of the people who are from the proletariat class are going to be corrupted by that sudden access to power because they're, well, by definition, good. So, so then you have the good people who are running the world and you also have them centralized so that they can make decision, decisions that are insanely complicated to make, in, in fact, impossibly complicated to make. And so that's a failure conceptually on both dimensions because, first of all, all the proletariat aren't going to be good, and when you give, put people in the same position as the evil capitalists, especially if you believe that social pressure is one of the determining factors of human character, which the Marxists certainly believe, then why wouldn't you assume that the proletariat would immediately become as or more corrupt than the capitalists, which is, of course, I would say exactly what happened every time this experiment was run.